Here I am in the Holy Land of Israel in the month of Nisan, the month that the Jews got out of Egypt, the spring where everything grows, the world becomes new. It reminds me of a story that once I heard that a man did some reparations on his house and he changed the spout, the water spout on his house from falling, the water wouldn't fall in the front, it would fall in the back of his house. And he noticed that after the first rain, that some unusual plants started growing where the new place where the water fell. And he found that a few weeks later that it was sunflower seeds. And he couldn't figure out where they came from. And then he remembered that five years earlier, he had gone into his garden with a pack of sunflower seeds. And when he got to the garden, it was the pack was empty. It must have been that somehow or other those seeds spilled out in that place where the new water fell. And they were just waiting there for five years for water to fall on them. A similar story is also told when the Jews left Egypt. As the Yam Suf, the Red Sea split, and that from the ground, the dry ground, grew up trees, and on the trees grew fruits, and the Jews took the fruits and fed them to the birds, and the birds sang together with the Jews songs to God. The Lubavitcher Rebbe explains what was the purpose of these seemingly mir meaningless miracles. I mean, the Jews were only in the, in the sea for a few hours at most. They didn't need the plant. What did they need it for? So the, the answer is, is that the whole idea of going out of Egypt and splitting of the sea was to reveal the potential hidden in everything. The potential of the mineral of the ground is vegetable, growing trees. And the potential inside of trees is to also be part of a higher form of life, animal. An animal, man. And man, God. So they're all elevated to one to the other. And that's the whole idea of the Mashiach, to reveal the good that's hidden inside of each and every one of us. Maybe you've asked yourself a question, why is it that Superman and Batman, all these amazing people, why are they always good? Why do they always go and save people and help people? Why don't they do bad? I mean, here we had a person just 70 years ago that convinced the whole German nation that they are Superman, and they just went and destroyed and killed and raped and murdered. Why does Superman always do good? So the answer is, is that good is in the potential of every person, and so is bad. But it depends who the leader is to take it, bring it out. The idea of Mashiach is that he's going to be a leader that instead of throwing the world into a bloodbath, and of destruction is going to make the world a place where it's good and bring out the good potential in everyone. That everyone has, is, has a storehouse of appreciation, of love, of the ability to create, the ability to build, the ability to have a positive attitude toward life and toward all mankind. And that's waiting inside of everyone to be brought out. That's the idea of Mashiach, to realize the beauty and the wonder of life that's why it's so necessary that we need Mashiach now.